Okay, so now we're going to do a similar exercise, but I want us to go through creating functions dynamically. We saw that when we used functions to encode data structures, but now we're going to see um, functions being created dynamically for another purpose. Okay, so the basic idea is uh, let's try to write our function, uh, our frozen uh, double, right? So our fo frozen double, where was it? Um, we had frozen double, um, which we called apply to, but I guess we could say freeze, um, like a func with two arguments, right? What we're doing is we're freezing a function with two arguments and we're storing um, a frozen function Oh, actually, sorry, it's apply to. Um, let's, let me kind of re recap. So we created this function, uh, this structure to freeze a function in a single argument. But now what we want to do is we want to try to achieve the same, the same goal, but without um, using a data structure. Okay, so this is... Okay, so we're creating functions dynamically. And our objective is um, freeze a function. Okay, freeze a binary function. Let me copy paste the code. Remove this from here. So let's look at the code that we have here. So what we, maybe I can write it again, why not? Okay, so the objective is to define a function which we call frozen multiplication, right? It takes an argument and what that's gonna do is it just calls frozen, right? And does double and you pass arg1, right? But instead of calling um, apply to, so we have this apply to that when given the structure, it calls arc two. So another thing we could do is um, instead of just returning the struct, maybe we return a function which takes an n, which is going to be the argument two. Okay, and when we call arc two, when we call this function that we're returning. What I want us to do is to call apply to to frozen and pass arc two. Okay. So let's see what this will do. So what this will do is we do uh, frozen star and we pass uh, let's say three define. And I'm going to print out fr1, and finally I'm going to call fr1 with 2. Let's see what's going on here. It's expecting two arguments. Wait, let me kind of do this step by step. So first thing I want to do, I want to define fr, and I'm going to start that here, and then what I return is a function that when called will call apply r, apply to, right, apply to, that takes a fr and an argument to. Okay, because double, again, double was this function that multiplies by two, and actually what I want to store is multiplication. So, fr, so what is uh, frozen multiplication? Frozen multiplication is this um, new code we've written that takes, um, creates a frozen data structure, 
right? And returns a function that when called will invoke apply to. Okay, so the nice thing about this is that now you no longer have apply to and you kind of hit away frozen and apply to and you simply have a, a single function called frozen star that returns a function fr. Notice here, uh, let's, what, what is being print? Ah, let me kind of comment this out. Actually, this should be another file. Let me just code uh, funks. Oh, no, because I want to call the, the code above, so it's fine. Um, so let me run it again. Okay, so if I call fr1, right, if I call frozen star of three, what that does is return this lambda, right? So this is going to be this lambda right here. But because I passed um, three, what is fr is going to be? Let's think. So fr is going to be um, frozen star of arg1. So what is arg1? It's three. Okay. So um, what else do we need to do? Three. So now if we uh, evaluate this, what do we get? Oops. Now we inline fr in the code. So that means inlining this here, right? And um, yeah, and basically this is the code, right? So what fr contains is it contains a lambda that is expecting a second parameter that what we'll do is call apply, pass frozen star three, and then whatever arg, arg two you pass it, right? So if I do this, then what that is doing is apply to a frozen star three, two, right? And we've seen how apply to unfolds. So we know what, what's going to happen is uh, three times two. So similarly, if we do fr one, so actually let's call this fr three, where we store uh, the number three. So it's three times two. Oops. So the result of freezing uh, multiplication with three is fr three. And when I pass two, it's three times two. So I get six. Uh, and when I get fr three of 10, what that does is the same as apply to a frozen star three and then 10, right? So you'll see 30, right? Three times 10, 30. So this is what's going on. Okay, so this is one way, but you know, it, it might be kind of silly to write it this way. So why? Because why do we need the structure anyway? We're, we're, we define the structure and we're calling it directly here. Maybe let's just improve apply to kind of in line the code of apply to and simplify this. So what is the code of apply to? Okay, so this is the code of apply to. So let me copy paste that here. Let me remove the comments. Okay, close parenthesis. Let's see if this still works. Ah, actually, let me call this version two. And now I want to I want to do this is frozen two. Version two, v two, v two. Call this v two. Okay. Now I, I can remove this. I'm going to comment this out because now you've seen how it looks like. I'm going to comment this out, but I'm going to 
make sure check equal that fr2 is the same as fr3 v2 of 2. Okay, so I'm just checking if um, I call version 1 and version 2, I get the same results. fr3 of 10 and fr3 Let's see what I did wrong, so some parentheses are wrong. Ah, it's in the tests. What else? Capital C, should be small c. Okay, okay so things are working. So you know, no test was break broken. Um, and to confirm, I can put a different number here. Get a failure, so everything is working. Okay, so um, the only thing I did was I inlined the code. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is, um, well, if I take a frozen R, right, and then I, I just inline it here, then why not just write um, inline it directly? So I could write arg1 directly, right? And in that case, I don't need func or arg1, I can just write that down here. So I can do just this. Is that clear? So what I did was I inline this expression and this expression directly here and here, respectively. So here I inline the star because I know what it is. So I can replace that by star. And arg1, arg1 comes from here which comes from here. So I can just write here arg1. Therefore I can remove this and I can remove the frozen. So I can simplify it much, becomes much simpler, right? So what define does, and you can see it still behaves the same. So when I call frozen v2, what it does, it creates a lambda, so a function declaration, creates a function dynamically that when called will perform multiplication of arg1 and arg2, okay? Okay, and here I have a few slides explaining what I did. Uh, and in the next slide, in the next video, we're gonna talk about currying functions, which is basically what we've been doing in this whole lesson.